Don't mind me. I'm just hiding from my camera. Hi guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with another Patreon pick from our patron Steve G. Thank you so much, Steve, for your support. I really appreciate you, bro. Thank you for being on Patreon. We're actually going to be listening to two short tracks, and it is by the band Uriah Heap, which we have done, uh, I think, like two videos for. I really enjoy them. They're one of those bands that kind of just gets lost in the shuffle of all the other ones, because I've heard so many now, you know, and then some stick, some don't. Uh, but everything I've heard from them, I've really enjoyed. I think, like, it was The Magician's Birthday was one of them. I think that was the first track. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to be listening to... Uh, two tracks off of Demons and Wizards. It's the first two tracks on the album, and it is The Wizard and Traveler in Time. So uh, buckle up. Apparently this is very fantasy heavy, which uh, as you can see by my posters and such, um, I am a fantasy nut myself. So uh, let's do it. If y'all are not subscribed, please help your brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel. I think we just hit 15K uh, last night. Woo! So that's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever make it this far, and uh, we've hardly even started yet. So stick around. The fun's just begun. First up, The Wizard, <laughs> and then Traveler in Time by Uriah Heap. In 3, 2, 1, go. Uh. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll try that again. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Tales and he drank my wine. Nineteen seventy two. Me and my magic man kind of feel fine. He had a cloak of gold and eyes. Of Ooh, light. that's good. Love it. My hat sounds so good. Imagining like wizards and kings and stuff in my head. They did a great job of painting like a, a fantasy landscape with music. Just in that one track. Next up is Traveler in Time. So wait, who? Dave Byron on the vocals, Mick Box guitars, Lee on drums. Every day I have to look to the sun to see where it 
love it. This has got a little Kansas feel to it. Mick Fox and Lee are killing it. Damn, his vocals are great too. It's so hard not to just like go into my imagination as fuck. go. It's also got some Sabbath vibes. Traveling in time. Definitely Black Sabbath vibes. Oh, there we go, Lee. This is so sick. <laughs> oh. Another album to add to the list. God damn it. So long. This one feels like shit. Rock and roll, baby. I love it. There's that fade out. I always want to hear what's after. Somebody commented that on the Steely Dan video yesterday. It's like the stuff they leave like on the cutting room floor after like you know the fade out and stuff. It's probably worth gold. They just throw it away. Damn, that was so good. Good pick, Steve. Very good pick. Guess what? I can do this now. Is it going to come to me? Hello, camera. Oh, I guess not. Hey, maybe I figured it out. Cool. Um, yeah, that was great. Like I said, I think we've done like two Uriah Heap tracks, um, and they've been really kind of far apart, so I'm not like as familiar as like with the personnel and remembering everything, so let's see who we got. We got um, Gary Thane on the bass, uh, but... Mark, uh, Mark Clark did the bass on The Wizard, um, and also co-lead vocals. Um, Lee Kerslake on the, dream, <laughs> the dreams, he's got some dreams, on the drums, percussion, and backing vocals. Ken Hensley on keyboards, guitars, percussion, uh, and backing vocals. Uh, Mick Box on guitars, and Dave Byron on lead vocals. So yeah, I really enjoyed the vocals uh, with, uh, I guess, like, the harmonies that Mark and Mark Clark and David were getting on the first track. Uh, it was very fantasy oriented. It kind of sounded like that. Like you said, Steve, I could feel it. Um, like it kept like taking me somewhere else like in my head and I kept kind of drifting off into my imagination. But I have to remember, Hey, you're recording dumbass. You can't just stand there with your eyes closed. So I do my best to bring myself back out of it, but I can't help it. Like that's how I listen to music. Like I really listen to it. Like I just let it soak and just wash over me and I'd let it take me wherever it takes me, you know? Um, yeah. And that was very... It's like imagination fuel right there. And especially the second track, just like straight up rock and roll, just killing it. Like, oh my God, Lee and uh, Mick Box on that. Just awesome. They were definitely the standouts on that track. Like on the first track, the percussion was pretty simple, you know, just keeping everything very uh, kind of mellow almost. They had a couple splurts or like rays of sunshine of like, like a couple fills, whatever you want to call them, you know. But man, on the second track, he really went off. That was so good, man. Uh, he was, especially that like one little, um, 
I guess you could say he got like a five second little solo guy right there at the end of that track. Fucking sick, man. His tom sounded good. His snare was great. Everything sounded really good. The, the sound engineer for this, whoever like mixed it and everything, and uh, was the engineers for it, they did a great job because you could hear every last little detail on this song. Both of them. They sounded great. Uh, it's from, what, 1973, right? 72. Yeah, May of 72 it came out. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. And I'm definitely down to listen to more from this album because uh, that was really, really good. And if there's like a fantasy element to it, I am with it. Because I'm a nerd at heart and on the outside, so it, it works out for me, you know. Um, I can just let it take me away, man. But I gotta have something to say about it. Um, like I said, I really enjoy Dave Byron's vocals, um, especially like on the second track. I like the harmonies he got on the first track. Um, but man, yeah, honestly, if I had to pick between the two, Traveler and Time was great. It, it definitely had some like early Kansas vibes to it, it's especially in the very beginning parts. Definitely got a Kansas feel. I got a Black Sabbath feel from that main riff. That main riff was just ferocious, man. Paired with the drums and everything, it was just fantastic. I really, really, really liked that. Like, really. That was, like, really good. And I'll say really one more time and then never again. Really, really good. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really hear much from Gary Thane on the bass. I heard a couple, like, moments of him shining. Um, but other than that, uh, definitely the drums, the guitars, vocals, just, yeah, complete standouts for me. That was great. Uh, and I definitely want to do more Uriah Heap now. Like, I say that I feel about, like, every band, because y'all just send me the best music. It's never bad, so, like, I always want to listen to more, but, like, I've got so much, it's crazy, dude. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for that, Steve. That was a great, good twofer right there. And now I, um, now I want to do this album. So maybe next month, request two more tracks from it, and that would work out great. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. That was The Wizard and Traveler in Time by Uriah Heep. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you guys didn't know, we have a Patreon right here. Oh, now you're going to come over here. Are you? Zzz, nope, he didn't do it. This camera has AI tracking, so I'm trying to learn how it works, and like you can make it focus on you and stuff like that. Um, there's a In the description, there's a link to the Patreon. Come join. If you join the $10 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Uh, it can be, depending on your tier, uh, it can be, if you're in the $15 tier, it can be 15 minutes or less. If you're in the $10 tier, it has to be 10 minutes or less. Like, I've got rules and guidelines posted for the Patreon request thread. Um, if you have any questions, you can always message me and we can, you know, figure it out. Um, yeah, and if you want access to all of our bonus content, like I said, I've got hours and hours of stuff on there you probably haven't seen. i got full albums to the Beatles, like three of them. Tons of King Crimson, since Mr. Fripp doesn't like it on the platform, his music. Um, and then there's also some Zappa, the Gup Lock, Jethro Toll. We're doing Crest of a Knave tomorrow. Uh, that should be fun. We'll finish that up. We're doing side two of that, and then the bonus track as well. So that should be fun. Um, I think that's it. There's a PayPal in the description if you want to send a request in that way too. I think that's it, guys. Um, man, I can't wait to listen to that one in the edit because, like, I, I want to let it just take me away. I didn't have a chance for it to do it here because I was just like, I got to record. But that was the type. That's like, like I said, it's imagination fuel, man. I could just put those headphones on and just drift away into some other world with that. And uh, I'm with it. Thank you for watching, Steve and everybody. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. <laughs>